Hello everyone and welcome to Food for Your Soul. My name is Elizabeth and this is Chanel. Chanel. Today, Chanel has something to say about sacrifice. Chanel, let's hear from you today. I have one advice for you all. Luke chapter 9 verse 24 says, For whoever wants to save his life will lose it. But whoever loses his life for my sake will save it. Exactly. God is not a selfish God. For example, he sent Jesus down for our sake to wipe out all the sins mm. and forgive us. If Jesus was selfish, self-centered, he wouldn't have done that because he would have only cared for his life. But since he's selfless, mm. he did it for us so we will have salvation. That is how life is. Hmm. You will not prosper if you are selfish. Wow. But you will always prosper, prosper if you are selfless. My God. Life, life is not meant for you. Hmm. For another example, Esther. Hmm. Esther wanted to protect her people. So she said, if I perish, I perish. She didn't care about herself. She cared for other people. That's why I say, your life is not for yourself. It's for other people. When God heard Esther say that, he didn't only do he didn't only do what she asked for. Hmm. God did three times wow. three times better than what she, Esther asked for. Oh God saved her people. Come on now. She o he also saved her life. Wow. And also kept her the queen. Come on. So that's how you're supposed to be. Come on. Your life isn't for yourself. Mm. You, you are meant. Your talent mm. is meant for others. Come on. The Wright brothers, for example, mm. they invented planes. Mm. If they were not alive, no one would have ever ever thought about something, some invention like that? Come on, preach. Let's see. Wow. So just like all the other inventors, yeah. you can be one of them. Preach. You can use your time now learning what you love. Mm. So in the future, you can become famous. Let me tell you something. Hmm. You can become successful without other people. Hmm. You know, people say, if you are in, you're the only person in the whole wide world, you can be famous. Because other people are not there to actually know that you are famous. Hmm. Other people make you, can make you successful mm. if you are not self-centered. Wow. Being selfish is the one thing mm. God hates. Come on. God hates when people are selfish. Mm. He created us in his image and likeness 
Jesus came down to bring us salvation and we can be selfless mm. he's just that's just not right mm. wow you get what I'm saying yes, yes yes you can't just be successful by pushing a button wow you have to to go through levels come on now just like I said you have to read for your next exam mm. exactly wow the second point I want to make is mm. my second and last point I want to make is that you need to spend much more time getting out of your comfort zone which also links up wow. to to learning and improving, right? Yes. Wow. And sacrifice. Sacrifice. You have to sacrifice your time now. Come on. To be successful later in life. Come on, fridge. Because if you don't get out of your comfort zone, there is no way you'll be something in the future. Wow. For example, hmm. my mom Come on. here created a channel, a hmm. YouTube channel, Success Principles. Wow. Yes. Some of us will say, I need to keep this knowledge for myself because I don't want anyone I know to be more successful than me or any stranger to become more successful than me using my tips. Those people are selfish. But thank God my mom isn't. Thank you. She created the channel giving all the tips she can because she cares about other people just the way Jesus cares about us. Wow. You know it links up, right? Yes. You wouldn't only be famous, you wouldn't only be known, other people will be known because of you. Wow, Janelle, thank you. Deep. So, my point I want to make to you is that number one mm. do not be selfish if you want to be successful wow. number two be just like Esther mm. be be sacrificial mm. thank you my goodness Janelle thank you so much Janelle has said everything. Janelle has explained to us how we need to live a selfless life. God says if you want to save your life, you want to keep your life, you will lose it. So it then means that we were created not for ourselves. We were created to come and fulfill the assignment for other people to come and help other people fulfill their assignment you have an assignment that your assignment was given to you to help other people fulfill their dreams if you've not gotten your assignment then you're not living because success is your ability to impact life the lives you were able to impart while you're still here on earth so if you've not been able to identify why you were created in order for you to give out the the gift that god has placed on your inside then you're even occupying space here on earth you are living on earth for free and that's not what god wants nobody gives you a house no employer will give you a house for free yeah. And I also want to say something. Go ahead, my darling. I just missed that part. So I just realized that your your purpose isn't meant for yourself. Come on now. 
It's meant for other people to make their lives easier. Wow. That's what I wanted to say. Wow. Your purpose was not meant for you. If you know how to do something, use it to solve other people's problems. Like, see what we are doing. We are passionate. We want you to leave because we know that in John 10, 10, the Bible says, I have come that you may have life and have it in abundance until it overflows. So we, we are here to always encourage you, to let you know that you have the life of Christ. You have the life of Christ in you. And once you are able to, once you've been able to identify yourself and know that Christ lives live in you, then there's no way your assignment won't be given to you. There's no way you won't be able to identify that which God has placed on your inside to help people to resolve. So for your ability to always think about self, your ability to always think about others is what is going to help you to get to your next level. Less of yourself and more of others. Less of yourself and more of others. That's the only way and that's the only time God will make use of you and make way for you because he knows he can use you as a channel to other people's problems. But once you start thinking of yourself alone, myself, I and I and I, then you have a problem because everything has been made available for the both of us. So you have to sacrifice Esther, like she, has, she said, Esther almost sacrificed her life. Jesus did actually. So what are you doing to sacrifice for others? That's when God will come and raise you up. Thank you so much, Janelle. You're such an amazing, give me high five. Thank you so much. <laughs> We love you so much, Janelle. We are grateful for this insightful message. Thank you. Thank you, uh, our, our friends. I, we hope you had a nice time with us. And we hope to see you the same time next week. We love, love you. you. And, and there is nothing, nothing you can, can do, do about it. it. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Thank you, Janelle. Let's have a hug. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>